Good morning, Year 6. How are you today? Miss Maricel is back. I hope you understand and uh, remember our lesson yesterday. What is our lesson yesterday? Yes, it's all about number sequence. How we are going to find the number sequence? The next uh, terms? Yes, you need to find the rule. Okay? So once you know the rule, then you can complete the, that sequence. This time you're going to use shapes, shape patterns or diagrams to make a sequence. Okay. What? Uh, let's see our learning objectives. Draw the next shape in the given diagram or pattern. Predict the next diagram or pattern and determine the number of shape added or subtracted. And also draw a conclusion on how the pattern in diagram was made. Okay, I'm going to give you. So remember, like yesterday, I have told you about what are sequence. Sequence is a set of numbers or object which follows a certain rule or pattern. Okay, and what is pattern? It is a set of repeatedly decorative design that follows a certain order. Now, I'm going to give you an example here. Amir arranged these shapes in order. How many dots will be there in the fourth grid? So, now we have here the first one in the pattern one, we have one dot. The next pattern, we have three dots. And the third pattern is five dots. What do you think will be the next? So it will be the same thing. Okay, it will be the same thing like what we are doing. You can write here one, three, five. So what do you think will be here? So three minus one is two and it is going increasing. So we, we are always adding two dots each time, isn't it? So it will be the same like our number sequence, but only so we are going to add two dots each time, okay? So let's do it now. Let me use this and make it darker. Okay, so let's start the first one and then next one. And then here, let's complete our dots. So that will be Okay, so this is the original one. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so let's make it black because it's not clear. Okay, so. Okay. Now, so this will be now. Oh my goodness, seven. What will be here? It will be plus two nine. So we are going to put back. So we will one, two, three, seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is in the in the fourth term pattern, correct? So since this is nine, we have to add eight and nine. Okay, so. If we will continue, what will be the one, two, three, four, five, six pattern will be? Correct, very good. It will be 11, okay, 11 dots. Let's try without the green. So I'm going to make first one, two, three, four, five, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I will do, I'll just add one here. So that will be 10 and 11. So my pattern will be completed. So what is, if the pattern continue, draw the next pattern. So we have already completed the pattern that we need, okay? So, So now let's list down the number of dots of its pattern in a row. So we have started with one, three, five, seven, nine. What will be the next? Yes, 11, oops, 
So we will have the next one, 11. And what is the rule I said? Yeah, it will be uh, 12, so that will be 13. So this is the sixth and the seventh term. All right, so simple as that. Now let's move to the next part. Okay, now let's do this one. So let's count. This is one, which is in here, one, five, nine. So this is five squares. And then in the third pattern, we have nine. So let's draw this first because we are going to copy this one and we are going to add four squares each time, all right? So I'm going to draw first one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then four at the end. So it will become nine, isn't it? So that will be seven, eight, and nine. Don't mind my drawing. Now, since I need to add four squares more, so I will just add here one, so that is 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so we have 13 squares. Now, Let's do the same thing because we need to complete up to here. Okay, so I'm just going to take. This one, I will just add. I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot do that. Okay, so I'm going to make another one. All right, so that is 13, two, four, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then six on the side, three, eight, nine, Okay, so this is now 13. So we will add four again. So 13, 14, 15, 16, and seven. So this is now the next pattern. But when you draw, so don't mind the drawing of Miss Maricel because it's not nice. So this will be plus four, it will be 17. So 9 plus 4, it will be 13. Plus 4 is 17. So what will be the sixth? So it will be plus 4 is 21. Okay, so this is how to complete a shape patterns. So you can complete now. So our the number of squares in the first pattern is one, second square, second pattern is five. Third pattern is nine, fourth pattern is 13, fifth pattern is 17, and sixth pattern is 21 squares. So if you can see, if you're going to subtract five minus four, it is four. So it is increasing, therefore we need to add four each time. Okay, year six, I hope you have understand this lesson. Okay, can you do this by yourself now? Um, draw the next three terms of this diagram. We have already diagram one, diagram two, diagram three, or pattern one, pattern, pattern two, pattern three. So you can just complete this one and then check your answer later. Pause your video and answer. Okay, let's do it together and check your answer now. So we can have here, we know that we need to subtract five minus three is two and it's increasing, therefore we are adding two squares each time. Maybe we can complete this one. So seven 
Okay, nine. Oh, sorry. Okay, so seven. So we are going to add two squares each time. So seven, nine, 11, and 13. All right. So now you can do this one. If this is very easy now. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will add two. So 11. Okay, so our answer here is correct. Then again, you will do so it will become 13. Okay, simple. I hope you understand year six, the question, I the lesson about sequence and pattern or shape and shape patterns. And uh, you can watch again how to do it. You can answer page uh, your student book. <clears throat> you, if you have, you did not do it yet, you can, you can answer student book page 136. Okay, question two. This will be the same thing as what we have done in this lesson. Okay, so student book, 136 page, page 100, 136, question two. You have to draw the next pattern. You have to count and then list it down like this as the number sequence so that you can, it will be easily for you to complete the pattern, okay? Okay, bye for now, year six. See you again to the next lesson. I hope you understand what's the video so that you will understand if you have any confusion.